Hey there, friendlies. Welcome to another um, neck pour review here on my Fantabulous channel. What are we doing this time? Very excited. Aberlauer Abuna. I've been trying to get this for a long time, but it's like never in Quebec. But this is one of those where it makes more sense to buy here than in Alberta, because this is $101 in Quebec, like not on sale or anything. That's the price. Whereas in Alberta, it's more like 159 blah 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 plus whatever 30 bucks shipping no way no way let's just turn that so you guys can see it let's just open it and then we'll talk it's a little waxy waxy up in here so i uh, kind of wish i'd looked at that before starting to shoot so i would have known what to expect is that going to come off like that yes it is okay all right Let's just peel it back a bit so it doesn't get in the way of our little pory pour. That's what the baby talk, Jess. Nobody knows, it's a mystery. Okay. So. I'm showing you the wrong side of the glass. Sorry about that, uh, the bottle, sorry about that. The story was founded in 1879. We're talking James Fleming. Um, gone through some ownership changes. The Abuna is named so because Abuna means original. And this is supposed to be an homage to the way the whiskey was made in the 1800s. This was fully aged in uh, Oloroso, matured in Spanish Oloroso sherry butts. This is also, this is unchill filtered, uh, but it doesn't say anything about coloring. So I'm just going to check whiskeyworld.de and see what they say. Okay. What? There's no Abuna in here? It says non-chill filtered, but it doesn't say anything about caramel coloring. One would assume that aged in sherry would give you this beautiful uh, color, but if it doesn't say on the bottle, I can't give it the, the mark, right? So uh, before I forget, let's do the checklist. What do we got? We have a single malt scotch. Thing. We have no age statement. We have 60.9%, so that's above 45. I call that a win. We have non-chill filtered. I call that a win. But we, we have no statement anywhere on this bottle or on this tin, unless I've missed it. No, nothing about caramel coloring. So, bup. So it's not full marks, but it's not bad. Now, these are batched, okay? So this is... Uh, I can't see a thing. Batch number uh, 75, and it's at 60.9% alcohol by volume. As far as design goes, it's it's a nice design. It's just nothing special, really. Um, it's it's a pleasant, like, down-home country look. This is, I guess, supposed to look like a hemp sack or burlap or something. Uh, you know, it's, it's nice. Uh, I think the logo's fair enough. It's tasteful though. That's, that's the thing. It's not, it's not going over top on anything. Um, I would like to not have to deal with these tins all the time, but it's a well-designed tin, right? Little piece of foam there to make sure that nothing rattles around. I, I do like this element. It's, it adds a little bit of class. It's not a make or break thing for me at all. Um, but for the design, I mean, it's nothing special, but it, it's very tasteful and very pleasant. I would give this, um, like, a, I'd give it a 78. So let's take a look at it. I, look, it's a very nice color. If, if that's the, the natural color, then I love it. It's, it's this beautiful sort of dark, it's kind of like a maple syrup color. And as I've become more oriented towards non-chill filtering, non-caramel coloring, I tend to like lighter shades more because I sort of trust them more. This is a beautiful kind of honey um, maple syrup shade, like an amber. I like it. I think it's terrific. Um, but who knows? So why don't we start with the nosing? Oh, very sweet. Very... Obviously, there's a, a fruitiness there from the sherry. There's a honey aspect. 
there's a wood, obviously, as well. There's an oak. It's, it's got a real tightness to it. Malty as well. I'm getting malt, malt sugar kind of thing. Definitely more of like an orchard fruit than, uh, than an herbaceousness. Very nice. Now I'm going straight in. There's a real ethanol zing there too. This is like the distillate is still big and present. It hasn't been replaced or, or lessened by the oak element at all, the way it would be if this was a 10 or 12 year. So it's very sort of youthful and zingy, but also kind of a creamy, rounded, uh, almost syrupy, cherry or, uh, you know, jam fruits kind of thing happening. So on the nose, uh, I'd give that an 86. I think it's really nice. But if this was like a 10 or 12 year, I get the feeling it would be like more rounded, more beautifully sort of, um, melded, I guess. I'm, I'm searching for a word. Shall we taste it? Go to the palate. Okay. That was very spicy right, right off the top. And it's still scintillating at the tip of my tongue. Um, it develops into the fruitiness and the creaminess, but it, it comes later than that, than that spicy sort of peppery note. Uh, that was not what I was expecting. That was a surprise. I'm going to do it again. Now that I'm nosing it after tasting it, there's there's a real sort of uh, sort of European oak spice happening on the nose now too, which I guess I wasn't detecting before because of all the, the sort of beautiful rounded syrupy fruity notes. Now that I know what to expect, it didn't surprise me as much, and it is letting some of the other notes in sooner, faster. Um, I get the feeling that when I get down here, uh, it's going to really develop into something beautiful. I'm getting ginger. Candied orange. There's a dessert element there. I, I, I think I might be picking up some, some baked goods, but I think that's the, the maltiness that I was referring to before. It's, it's very, it's surprising on the tongue. I'm going to do that again. The youthfulness is in the ethanol zing. And I think that's what I'm getting as like the, the sharp notes aside from the, the, the European oak spice and stuff like that. Um, very warm taste. The creaminess is lesser than I was expecting, but it's still there. The orchard fruits are still quite large. I think it's really good. I'm going to give this 86. So let's ruin it, shall we? A little bit of water, a little bit of the swirly swirl. It's lightened up the nose, made it a little airier. Um, the oakiness has sort of started to, I don't know if open up is the right way to say it, but it's a little more atmospheric than, like whereas before the oakiness was, oh, this is an oak box. Now it's more like there's oak furniture in this room. It's as if all the flavors suddenly went, like this. Definitely lighter. Um, not ruined at all though. This one really stands up to water well. 
Um, like I wouldn't throw in like two tablespoons or anything like that, but a drop of water actually does make this open up really nicely. Um, that's, that's interesting. That's good to know for someone who's a little water averse like I am. And like even the tears don't, like it didn't turn all watery. It's still got a nice oily mouthfeel. Um, the finish on this seems to be all about the spice. You know, it, it, the fruit notes are, are drifting away. Uh, the spice is drifting away slower. And when I took my first sip of this, the spiciness w dried my mouth immediately. Um, uh, that doesn't happen quite as much after the water. But the, the spice element is definitely, um, it's definitely drying. Finish is nice and long though. I mean, I'm still tasting it. It's, it's changing as it goes. Yeah. So, uh, for value, we're talking $101 here in Quebec where it's regulated, 160 in Alberta where it's not. So I don't really know. It's going to depend on your retail situation. I'm going to call this here in Quebec where everything's really expensive. I think that's uh, 79 for value. Um, so all those equals this. And that's all she wrote. Thanks for hanging out with me for this short little review. Um, as I always say, if you like what I'm doing, then please do the following three things. One, comment down below. What are your thoughts on the Abuna? And is it a good deal in your area? Two, share this as far as you can, because that helps me more than you could possibly imagine. And three, leave me a smiley thumb. If you don't like what I'm doing, that's all right. Leave me a frowny thumb. Thanks for watching, guys.